Hey you guys and welcome back to Sophia Monet Tarot. It's your girl Sophia Monet. I'm coming back to you with your weekly readings and we're now on Virgo. All right Virgo, keep in mind this is a general reading and it will not resonate with every single Virgo in your situation. If it's not your week, don't worry about it. Maybe next time, okay? This is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, and Jupiter, Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit. What's the message is? For Virgos this week, what do they need to hear and what do they need to know for this week? Whoa. For Virgos, what do they need to hear and what do they need to know for this week? Ooh. Mm. Okay, so you need to really decide what you want to do moving forward with a certain person. This could be a mother figure, this could be a wife, this could be a girlfriend, this could be just you standing in your own empress power or empress energy. But this week you really need to plan out some things to see what you really want. You need to see what you really want to do. And you, you, you need to take the time to, to really do this. I'm not just saying this to be saying it. Like you need to sit down, get out a, a, a day planner or some type of calendar, a notepad, get on your computer and you need to type out something. You need to write down something. You need to formulate a plan is what I hear. You need to formulate a plan. At the bottom of the deck, we have emotional loss which is the five of cups energy right behind it is trapped in fear we're getting the eight of swords a lot okay i feel like some of you are really dealing with a lot of past regret you are regretting something you're dealing with a lot of like uh depressed energy as well this week this is for some of you, not all of you. Some of you are really dealing with emotional loss um, from your past. You're regretting something. We also have patience and planning, which is that feeling that I was getting like you need to formulate a plan, okay? Triumphant success, the Ace of Swords, which, which, which means you're coming to some type of truth. Then we have fertility, okay? So this is the Empress in traditional tarot. So this could be you um, dealing with feelings of regret as like in who you married. The Empress can be a wife. So some of you lady Virgos could be feeling a little grief over who you married. Um, some of you could also be feeling um, like you're ready to take care of yourself and you're ready to step into your empress energy. It's like, okay, I need to plan out, like, how am I going to move? How am I going to, you know, where am I going? Am I going to, you know, get a new job? Am I going to uh, change my career? Am I going to go back to school? It's all of those feelings that I'm feeling, okay? Different energies for different people. Take it as it resonates. Why is patience and planning here? Why is triumph and success here? Why is fertility here? Yeah. At the bottom of the deck, we have the three of swords. Yes, lots of hurt. Someone is hurting. And this could be you. I feel like you're going through a lot of grief. This could be with children. You could be wanting to apologize to someone or about something. You could be feeling like you need to apologize. There may be talks. I'm just intuitively reading right now. I'm just getting some channeled messages here. Some of you could be dealing with a, a teenage child that needs to talk to you about something. They're hurting. Some of you who have a teenager or teenagers, your teenagers, I feel their energy. I almost want to cry. Your teenager needs to talk to you about something. They are hurting. Take the time and they could be not even um, all the way teenage. I would say between the ages of 15 to like 21. 
So they're still young, like young adult even. So it, you could have a young adult living in your house that's like right above the age of 18. But there, there's something there where they need to tell you how they're feeling. They're grieving. They're going through something very difficult and they need to talk to you ASAP. Don't wait any longer. Reach out to your children. With patience and planning, we have the three of cups. Yeah, I feel like something needs to come together. I feel like you need to set up like a family dinner or something like that. This is, to me, this has something to do with your family. You need to set up a family dinner or there could be an event that's coming up this week or coming up in the near future that has something to do with the number seven. Yeah, there's something that's coming up and you need to help plan this out. You need to be a part of the planning. There could be a birthday party coming up for some of you. For triumph and success, we have the devil energy. Yeah, I feel like you are ready to cut out toxic energy. Okay, some of you are dealing with very toxic people in your life and you're ready to cut it out. Some of you are dealing with uh, bad habits. Some of you um, need to go to rehab or therapy. Some of you need to go to Alcoholics Anonymous. There's a very toxic, addictive energy coming through and you're seeing the error in your way. Some of you are alcoholics or drug addicts is what I'm picking up. Uh, with that devil energy and you're finally getting clarity that something needs to change and I feel like if you're going through this you will have the support of your family okay for that fertility card the empress I'm getting the five of wands so you feel com conflicted in some type of way you may also be dealing with arguments with family arguments with a spouse arguments with a loved one in some type of way some of you could be dealing with a controlling person in your life a controlling mother figure or controlling um, mother type energy someone who smothers you or their energy is smothering and you could be arguing with them this week so yeah lots of different energies i'm sorry i went over time a little bit but I, I have to tell you what spirit is giving me. Alrighty, Virgos, I hope that uh, this gets resolved this week and I wish you nothing but the best. Take care. Bye.